Ladies, gentlemen, designers alike, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at Figma and we're going to have a look at Adobe Illustrator. Now they both have absolutely fantastic features and um, they are also designed for specific use cases. We're going to check out which one you should be using as well as what they are best used for. So let's check it out. Right, so let's jump straight in and have a look at Figma. Okay, so some of the very awesome things that uh, Figma offers is real-time collaboration. It also has cross-platform accessibility, which allows Figma to be a browser-based um, application. It allows you to export access projects from any device with an internet connection. So the flexibility now allows you to work seamlessly across different operating systems with no need for additional installations and um, complications. You also have prototyping and animation. Now, Figma does include powerful prototyping tools. Uh, this allows you to create interactive designs quickly and easily. You can add transitions, animations, and you can even test your prototypes directly within the platform. So Adobe Illustrator has a couple awesome key features and um, I have used it for some time and you know I got quite comfortable with its user interface. So you can easily design vector graphics. Okay, so never mind designing, you can master it. Um, it's the industry standard for vector graphics. It offers powerful tools for creating complex illustrations, uh, logos, typography. You can even make on-the-go choices for your graphic designers. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's also focused on scalable artwork so that is awesome doesn't matter if you're doing a business card or if you're doing a billboard it's amazing you have the advanced typography tools um, illustrator provides extensive typing tools this allows you to create unique visual appealing text layouts like no other platform of course it also has the capability of integrating with adobe creative cloud which allows you to take one project and use it in a multitude of the Adobe Creative Cloud apps. So if you're using more than one, you can actually jump from one to the other with your projects. You can also create artboards and multiple page documents. Um, you can do this all within a single document. You can make it easier to work on different design variations and um, pages without needing to switch between file to file. It also has extensive brush and pen tools. If you've ever used the brush and pen tools, it's way awesome. So it gives you the flexibility to like create detailed illustrations and custom artwork. And uh, it can very easily be edited. So it's pretty awesome to be able to customize in, in this situation. Now, having a look at, of course, everyone has disadvantages. Figma, um, they have the limited vector editing. Figma does have uh, the basic vector editing capabilities. However, it does not uh, match up with the depth and the precision of Illustrator when it comes to detailed artwork. It also has a couple performance issues with large files. Um, I saw some discussions and some blogs about the performance issues. Um, when working with very large complex designs, there's a bit of lag, especially on you know the more lower end or entry level devices. Adobe also, of course, doesn't come with no disadvantages, a bit of a steep learning curve. And when I say a bit, I mean it's a big, <laughs> steep learning curve. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's awesome, but it can be overwhelming for beginners due to its extensive features and tools. It's got a lot to offer. So new users, you may require a little bit more time to fully grasp how to use the software. Adobe Illustrator is also less focused on collaboration. So, you know, um, there are some collaboration features, but not as awesome as Figma's real-time capability. So if you are working in a team, maybe Figma is a better option. If you're working on your own, then definitely Illustrator is a better option. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. We'd actually love to hear from you. Leave us a comment, drop us a like, and share it with a friend. We'll see you folks next time. Peace out.